This medical center, meanwhile, is playing a big role in battling the coronavirus. Doctors, nurses, and other medical personnel are at the forefront, really, while med center leaders are staying ahead of demand for crucial personal protective equipment. Channel 2 investigator Robert Arnold spoke one-on-one -on -one with the CEO of the Texas Medical Center. And, Robert, they've been able to maintain a good supply of PPE. Yes, they have. More than 3,000 COVID-19 patients have been treated in the Texas Medical Center. And one of the challenges in treating patients of a pandemic is protecting those who work in the hospitals. A tall order when you consider I'm standing amongst a workforce that, as one example, will burn through half a million gloves just in a single day. We saw the devastation it was causing. We, President we and CEO of the Texas Medical Center, William McKeon, says long before the first case of COVID-19 showed up in America, he and his colleagues knew they needed to prepare. We created a war room on day one. Uh, all of the CEOs assembled together. Supply chain was key, making sure the hospitals that provide 70% of health care in a nine-county area had what they needed when it comes to gloves, masks, eye protection, and gowns. You can have beds, but if you cannot protect your nurses and your doctors and your technicians from providing care, you're just expanding the virus. Right now, the medical center has an ample supply of all these items. This chart shows enough personal protection supplies to last weeks, even months. But McKeon says there's no time to relax. Sadly, the world will not return to the normal that we knew prior to COVID-19. McKeon says getting supplies was not easy because the medical center was competing with other states and countries. Plus, McKeon says there was a lot of bogus offers flying around. Either the equipment didn't um, exist or it did exist and they were selling it simultaneously to 10, 20 countries. McKeon says this is where Astro's owner Jim Crane and his company Crane Worldwide Logistics was instrumental. He was on those supply chain calls every day. McKeon says Crane's company not only helped deliver many of these supplies to the medical center, but also helped verify that deals were legitimate. Boots on the ground that could go into a warehouse in Germany or China um, and vet and get on the phone immediately with him and say, it's here, we have it, this is a good order. McKeon says another factor was all the hospitals in the medical center working together as one massive entity when it came to purchasing. Low hospitalization rates also helped prevent a depletion of supplies. McKeon adds those daily calls in the so-called war room are still happening. That's because COVID-19 is not yet gone. And this is a long-term war. This war is going to last well through this year. Um, and into next year. McKeon and the other CEOs also continue to do tabletop exercises. That way, the medical center and surrounding municipalities are prepared for other eventualities, like a spike in infection rates due to social gatherings during the holidays, or how to handle a shelter if a hurricane hits the Houston area during this pandemic. Reporting live from the Texas Medical Center, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.